In this tutorial we're going to be revisiting the bounce example that we've done before. Um, but this time we're going to tweak the code um, slightly. So rather than using x and y coordinates, we're going to use a rectangle. In Pygame, there is an object which is called rectangle, or rect, with a capital R. And uh, you can use rectangles to represent the borders of sprites, of um, a ball in this case, or anything else you want to. Rects are quite commonly used uh, for collision detection and things like that, so it's quite uh, useful to get used to them. So what I've done now is I've got rid of the x and y coordinates, and or variables should I say, and I've replaced them with a new variable called ball, which is now a rectangle. So remember rectangles are, have got four elements to it, their x and y position on the screen, and their size. I've still got my DX and UI because I need that to control how fast things are moving. And let's have a look at some of the other changes I've made. Here, instead of um, changing X and Y, I'm using this function called move IP. So ball dot move IP DX and DY. What this will do is I move um, that rectangle or change the coordinates of that rectangle um, by the amount supplied by DX and DY. Now there are two uh, there's this, there's move, and move IP. The difference between them is move will create a brand new rectangle uh, and return it. So you have to use it like this, ball equals ball dot move. It doesn't actually move uh, the rectangle itself, it actually creates a new version of the rectangle and returns it. Move IP or move in place will basically uh, move the actual rectangle itself. You don't have to then assign it to a new variable. Um, obviously, both of these will have uh, different uses. So I'm using move IP because it makes more sense for this example. Now, in order to get access to uh, the x and y coordinates of the rectangle, all I have to do is say the name of my rectangle, which is ball in this case, dot y. If I want to get the x coordinates, it's ball dot x. So as you see my um, border checks here, my if statements, um, have tweaked ever so slightly just by simply changing um, this bit here. So before I had y and now I've got ball.y. And that's all the changes. Um, this is now using rectangles uh, directly. Oh, there's one last change. Where I've got draw ellipse. Now before, I actually had to put, manually put the rectangle in here as a tuple. Now I just simply pass through that variable. So it's starting to become a bit more readable. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do collision detection, uh, which is the kind of emphasis behind, or the motivation, should I say, of why we're using rectangles in this example.